Okay, here is part three. Sorry, guys, my phone overheated. It's so hot out here in Los Angeles. My phone just overheated. I can't believe it. But anyway, so I was pretty much done with that. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to talk about Joe Jackson's memorial. Um, a lot of people uh, would be like, Pearl went to Joe Jackson's memorial? She was invited? Yeah, I was. Um, because I know a guy. I know a guy. I also was in the VIP of uh, the Scream event. You know why? Because I know a guy. Um, and, uh, um, and Angel Hwansky is just wonderful. You know, I, I met her at the 2005 trial. She was uh, involved with the Jacksons since she was 19 years old. And she's uh, in her 50s now. So, um... Yeah, long relationship. But let's talk about Joe Jackson's memorial. Um, I do have uh, video footage, and but I'm kind of screamish to release it. Um, I have uh, portions of uh, Giovanni Jackson, who is Joe's daughter from another mother. I have uh, Marlon, I have Deals, I have Yoshi, who is Rebe's daughter. I have Stefania, um, who is Randy's daughter, uh, not by Alejandra, by uh, someone else. I have Angel's, uh, I have Angel's uh, speech. I have TJ bringing little Jojo up there who cried. Um, um, I have portions of their speeches. And um, I'm just going to hold on to them for now, okay? Um, also, all the family members were there except for Jermaine. Can you believe Jermaine wasn't there? And uh, Paris. Paris wasn't there. Uh, Prince came. He didn't stay long. He left early. Omar was there. Um, I don't remember seeing Dante, though. Uh, but all the grandchildren were there as far as 3T and their kids and Stacy and Jermaine's kids, Jermaine Jr., I think her name is Autumn, um, and uh, Jafar, Your Majesty, uh, Royal, um, um, BG, of course, was there. Uh, he had to stay the whole way because he doesn't have a car to drive, to leave. Um, um, and uh, April Sutton, who's a part of the Apollo family, she's, all, she's usually a, a part of the events. She was there, she spoke. The celebrities that were there were Stevie Wonder, DJ Quick, Barry Gordy, Suzanne DePass, Tom Mesereau was there. I talked to him for a while. Brian Oxman was there. Jimmy Jam, part of Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who are Janet's producers. Uh, Chico Ross was there, Dinah Ross's brother, who I used to see back in the 80s when I used to go to this club called um, El Provado's uh, Carlos and Charlie's. He used to be there. And voila, which was downstairs at, at the Beverly Center in Beverly Hills. I used to hang there when in the 80s. And he said, I said, aren't you Chico? Aren't you Dinah Ross's brother? And she said, yeah. And he said, uh, I said, I used to see you. He said, I knew I recognized you. That's why I kept looking at you. And I didn't say, oh, it wasn't my smile. <laughs> anyway, uh, he was there. Uh, Dinah Ross was not there. Um, um, of course, all um, Janet was there with Isa. Oh, he's so cute. He has kissable cheeks, like soft little kissable cheeks. He was there. And I have someone, one of Joe's publicists, not Angel, someone else, and uh, talking about how Joe uh, um, was loving Janet and was talking about Janet. And Janet listened so intensely. And then I had released... Um, uh, Janet talking about her dad made me cry, you know, at the Essence Film Festival. Essence Film Festival, that's on my page. Um, Marlon, he uh, and Randy Jackson, Marlon spoke, but he really thought about it before he went up there. Um, um, it didn't feel like a celebrity thing. It felt like a family was there. Catherine was there, Rebe was there. Latoya is so tiny. Oh my God, Latoya is so tiny. She is so tiny. Um, Latoya, 
um, but it felt like a family. It didn't feel like a celebrity's. It felt just like a family, which, it, which is what they are, a family. Now, everybody wants to know, was Michael there? Well, Michael's so good at disguises. Um, I believe he was there. Um, was he the guy in a wheelchair? Could have been. I don't know. Um, he called me afterwards, um, a few hours afterwards, and we talked. And I asked him if he was there, and he was real vague and played like, oh, my phone is breaking up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Um, but he said something that's been kind of hard for me to uh, talk about. You know how he's, he's, you know, he's done his, uh, his website. Now he has his app, Jackson's, with an S, empire.com, Jackson's, empire.com. And uh, he got an app, which means on your phone where you have all your Facebook and YouTube and, and Twitter, and you press it and you go directly to their site. Well, he has that now for Jackson's Empire. So you guys go join up. And uh, he said, he said, I'm going to try not to cry. He said, he typed, he said, I wish Joe was here to see, to see his app, see what he did. And I know that all his life, it was always a pursuit to get Joe's attention, to stand out from your eight brothers and sisters. Not that you don't love them, but always like to make my daddy proud, which was a song that they had, the Jackson 5 had. And Daddy's Home was another song that they had, sung by Jermaine. And, um, and I thought about Michael um, not having his father you know, to motivate him for the first time in his life and how he's going to miss his father finding out everything that he did without him telling his father. And that's why Peter plays so many wink, wink games because he played them with Joe for years. And that's why Joe called himself the Hawk. It's because Joe said, I see everything. So his kids didn't have to report. Oh my goodness, my TV came on. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry, I have to find the remote. I'm so sorry. Let me turn this, uh, the mute off. And that's why Joe called himself the hawk because he knew everything that his children were doing without them telling him. So Michael leaves so many clues and so much stuff and he always wants to know who's paying attention. It's another trait that Peter has, that Michael has. And I made it without crying, you know? Um, so it is very sad that Joe Jackson isn't there. Catherine was in a wheelchair and um, she's had weak legs since she was a kid because she had polio, you know? And so now she's in a wheelchair and uh, the Jacksons, have enhanced my life so much and enhanced the world and Janet said they're a black family from Gary, Indiana that went on to break records and for um to break records and it's because of their dad and he was tough but damn it he got it done for us and Joe is their biggest fan their father is their biggest fan because without him seeing the talent that his children had, we would never see it because it was him, his determination, his grit, his belief in them. That the reason why we have ABC and got to be there and and Who's Loving You, and Maybe Tomorrow, which is one of my favorite Jackson 5 songs, and Call On Me, which is one of my favorite Michael Jackson, Little Michael Jackson songs, Mama's Pearl. Um, Joe Jackson is their biggest fan. And I don't think I've ever heard anyone ever say that. Their biggest fan was their father, Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson was their biggest fan. And he was tough, but he knew that they had it in them. He knew it. So did Catherine. 
and the Jackson for they some bad mother. Shut your mouth when it comes down to singing and dancing. Shoo. Shoo. They set the world on fire because of their biggest fan knew that they had it in them when they were little kids. Thank you, Joe Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All those kids have manners. All those kids are polite. All those kids went on to have success around the world. Broke records like Janet said. So it was a family. It was a family event and I am grateful that I got to attend. Um, um, and I want to just say something about people that are haters. And I better hurry up. But about people that are haters, you know, that hate me for saying that Peter is Michael, hate me. You know, hate my guts. Think I'm the, I need to be burned at the stake. Right? Well, you know, I had my doubts about who Peter was too. And, um, and throughout us talking on the phone, the reason why we have so many clues is because I pried. And I challenged him to prove to me without saying the words that I am Michael Jackson because he said, once people know it's him, they change. So he's afraid to let people know it's him because then the expectation changes. The only way that he can't fake something is predictions. And I've told you guys this before. And the only way he can control what happens in the future is if he's the one dictating what happens in the future. Okay, and I wrote a list. Look at that. Okay, and that's just off the top of my head, all the predictions he did. And I want you to watch a live two and a live three, especially a live three. But I'm going to name them. Joan joined Twitter on June 24th. That's, that's the best one. That's the best one. People have been thinking he's Michael for since 2005, and he's going to open his Twitter account June 24th, the day before the death announcement. Boom! That's a pow! How do you explain that? Okay. A rare pearl, the whole January 15th, escape, the May 13th, the Macy's hug, scream, open the day I joined Twitter, scream album was released the day I joined Twitter, uh, the Peter Pan play with December 3rd and December 4th, including Janet, Latoya, Brenda Ritchie, and Jeffrey, and me at the Polo Lounge, Hot Chocolate with Chris Tucker, Justin Bieber, my birthday. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop this because this deserves to be its own live broadcast. I'm going to come back and repeat the Peter Pan stuff and because uh, this, this stuff is too good. It, it, it's just too good to be uh, stuck in the back of a video. Okay, so I will be back in a moment. <laughs> 